today's video, we are going to look at four digit numbers. This is the foundation for which third grade students will work from this year. When looking at a number like this, students must be able to identify what the place value of each digit is and what the value of each digit is based on its place value. So for example, the one is in the ones place, so the value of this one is one. Students should be able to know that this is in the ones place and the value of this is one. When we look at the six, students should be able to say, if you ask what number is in the tens place, they should be able to say, the six is in the tens place. If you ask what is the value of that six, they should be able to say 60. Not six, but 60 because it's in the tens place. The value of the six is 60. Likewise, if you say what is in the hundreds place, they should be able to say that it's a five, and they should be able to tell you the value of this number is 500 because it's place value. And lastly, they should tell you that a three is in the thousands place, and the value of that three is 3,000 because of where it's located. They should also be able to say this number correctly, 3,561. Very important that students be able to do that, 3,561. Additionally, notice that I didn't use the word and. I did not say 3,561. We don't want to use that word and. When we use the word and, it means a decimal. So we don't want to use it here. 3,561. The next thing students should know is the difference between standard form and expanded form. When we write a number like this, 3,561, we refer to that as the standard form. That's just the way that we're going to typically write numbers. But we want to be able to break that number up into all of its different place values. And so here we need to re-emphasize that content that was just taught on making sure that students understand the value of each digit. So to write this in standard form, the first thing I want to do is I want to take this 3 and I want to rewrite that by its value. So remember that the 3 was in the thousands place, so the value of that 3 is 3,000. Right? Now I want to move to the value of the five digits. So I'm going to put a little plus sign here. The value of the five digit is in the hundreds place, and so its value is 500. Next, I want to move to the six. The six is in the tens place, which means that its value will be 60. I'll put plus 60. And then lastly, I have a 1 in the 1's place. Because it's in the 1's place, the digit and the value are the same. And it's plus 1. And when I finish, the expanded form should equal the standard form. Now it's time to practice. For the first one, take this number and write it in expanded form. For the second one, take this number, which is written in expanded form, and write it in standard form. For the third one, take this number, which is written in numbers, and write it in standard form. For the last one, just say this number orally. Once you're finished, I will go over these with you. For number two, we are supposed to take this expanded form number and write it in standard form. On this one, we have a six in the thousandth place a 2 in the hundreds place, a 7 in the tens place, and a 2 in the ones place. On this one, we were supposed to take this number in words and write it in standard form. Here we have 9,725. The last one, we were simply supposed to read this orally. To read this orally, I would read this as 7,942. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.